Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Pen30. We're going to check it out how to create this uh, blended pattern typography. As you can see, it starts really dense in this area and starts to get really thin and thin in the bottom left side. So now the truth reality is you cannot do with all kinds of fonts, you know, because it won't work out. You can't do with few couple of fonts uh, it doesn't work with all I'm gonna show you what fonts to use and how we're gonna work this out so let's do this all right first step let's select the type tool and I'm gonna click and as you can see the default is myriad pro I'm gonna type in inter and this is the font it's a free font you can download it for free and we got a wide range from thin to black so this is the black, this is the thickest, I'm going to select the thickest version. I'm going to, I don't know, select the letter S, actually I'm going to blend the letter S, why not? Okay, so I'm going to press and hold Alt, drag it down, and for this letter S I'm going to select the, what is that, thin, not the regular, the thin. So this is the thinnest version, okay, select both, go to object, go to blend and make. And as you can see, nothing has uh, been distorted so far. Everything is perfect. I'm going to double click on the blend tool here. Select specify steps, decrease the numbers. So you get some space in between or not. You can make it even more dense. It uh, creates a really interesting pattern. I actually, I'm going to leave it like this, like this, test it out. Select the rectangle tool and start from here. We're going to create on this a rectangle. Press and hold shift also. So we're going to create a perfect re rectangle. You know, I'm going to go all the way down. And I'm gonna swap this here from fill to stroke. So I'm gonna see like what I'm doing here. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag this to the left. Also press Shift to isolate it and drag it all the way to the left. Double click on the top letter S. Select the top letter S and let's select the thin. And I'm gonna position it here. I'm gonna delete the rectangle. I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna go to the object, blend and I'm going to select expand, which is right here. And I'm going to go to object again, blend and make. I'm going to double click on the blend tool, select specify steps, increase the number. And as you can see, it does the magic. Ooh, this looks really good. Check this out. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. This is a really good, I think this is a successful experience so far. I'm also going to scale it down to see how it looks in small proportions. Yeah, there you go. It's really brilliant, I think. You barely can see that uh, this is uh, letter S. Uh, it looks abstract. It's really spontaneous. But yeah, so far this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.